What is good? What is happening? How is everybody doing today? My name is Chuck and welcome back to a brand new video for you guys here today is I want to be showing you guys some really awesome PlayStation 4 secrets and also how to be able to get yourself some PlayStation Plus for free. So I think you guys are definitely enjoy this video. Some of these secrets are really awesome and it's kind of surprising that I haven't taken advantage of them on myself until I really just kind of looked these up and decided to bring it to you guys here in a video and I was like, man, you know, why have I not been doing this before? And I really think you guys are going to enjoy the video. So I really could use your guys' support on this video here today and also I'm gonna be running a giveaway here on the channel if you guys want to enter into that it's gonna be five gift cards totaling $50 all you have to do to enter into that is just subscribe to the channel of course turn on those notifications be sure to drop a like on today's video let me know down in the comment section below that you have subscribed and also be sure to drop a second comment down there let me know which gift card you'd happen to like I'm assuming a lot of you guys would like PlayStation Network because obviously that's what this video is about and if you guys want to get yourself some free gift cards instantaneously be sure to go hit that top link in the description below so you can get yourself some free gift cards. But with that being said, guys, let's hop into today's video and show you guys some of these awesome PlayStation 4 secrets. So my first secret here today is just going to have to do with PlayStation Network messages. As you guys know, setting messages can be kind of a little bit cumbersome and getting your message across, especially when you don't really have a keyboard in front of you, can be just a little bit frustrating and just take that much longer really when you're trying to get a message to your friend, you know, let somebody know they're really crappy at a game, you know, send some, some hate mail if you guys, you know, know what I'm talking about. But it can just take way too long to be able to send that quick message, especially if you're in a game. So we're just going to show you guys at least two ways here to be able to get your messages out faster and also you know they're just kind of cool in the process here so I'm just gonna go to a message here I'm gonna search for uh, name of one of my friends I'm just gonna go over here to a person that I talk to regularly and then hopefully they show up here so this is probably gonna be the person here right there okay awesome confirm that and what we're gonna do is see when you hit that enter message there's a couple things you can possibly do so you can just type out your message like hey great game or whatever anything else like that but you guys can see it takes me a little bit of time to go back and forth between the characters and actually be able to get something out so what we're gonna do here is actually not a lot of people take advantage of this or really just kind of they try to just push it off and like oh they, we don't need any of this stuff right here so I'm gonna actually hit the R3 button what that's actually gonna allow me to do is use the motion controls on my controller to be able to send a message and so I'm gonna say you know G R E A T so you see how much faster I actually did that as opposed to going back and forth and actually being able to do bunch of that stuff right there I was able to essentially type out that message in like a third of the time and so if you guys actually want to be able to use your motion control it's really simple and of course I just showed it to you right there within the video so definitely make sure you're actually doing this and taking advantage of absolutely everything that I'm showing you because you know obviously I wouldn't be showing it to you if it wasn't useful okay so for the second one here today this is actually gonna involve using your phone so for a lot of you guys out there we all have you know iPhones or Androids or anything else like that and apart from actually using the motion controls or just typing out a message you can actually use your phone as a keyboard to be able to send people messages on PlayStation Network so a lot of you guys maybe may or may not know that you can actually be able to do this so all you do is just go onto the App Store and you hit download on the PlayStation app and you of course sign into your account on there you'll be able to see a whole bunch of things so I'll just you know pull it up here real fast so you guys can see what I'm talking about maybe you can or cannot but there's a whole bunch of things right here that you can you know just scroll through and you can see the activity of your friends and everything I'm not exactly sure if that focused or not but you guys kind of really get the point what I'm talking about so you can see a bunch of different things right there you can actually go to your messages but there's also a specific PlayStation message app that you can download if you just want to be able to check your messages as a standalone I did get a notification when I signed into my PSN on the app that there's a specific messaging app that you can go ahead and download. So that's what I did. I actually have it on the last page of my phone right here, so I'll bring it up. And literally all it is is just a specific app designed for you guys to be able to go through your messages and see, you know, what's really there. It's a hell of a lot easier to be able to send somebody one, you know, type it out, of course, with your fingers. And, the, you know, the keypad just comes right up. It blends seamlessly with your iPhone. And so I personally much rather do this than go on to my PlayStation and type something out you guys catch what I'm saying here a lot faster a lot easier and sometimes it's gonna take away from you having to exit out of your game 
So you can kind of see, you know, let's say you're in a pregame lobby, anything else like that, you really just don't want to actually have to be able to miss when it starts up. Going onto your phone is sometimes a hell of a lot easier. Another thing that not a lot of people know about is that, you know, regarding the battery of your controller. So I'm just going to put my phone down there to the side and grab my controller here. But if you guys notice, I do have the bright blue button or the bright blue light on my controller. And believe it or not, this actually does impact your battery life here pretty significantly. The reason I don't really mess too much with the light on my controller is because I'm at like a gaming setup and I have my charge cord essentially laying right there on my desk. So it's not really too much of an issue to me, especially when I am, you know, just playing some games or I just, you know, set it down to the side and go to edit video, anything else like that. But for those of you guys that maybe don't want to have to go plug your control in or you just don't have that long of a charge cord. So this is going to be a pretty simple fix to actually extend the battery life on your controller by a significant amount. So what you have to do is just hold down the PS button, go right to the screen I'm at right here, go to sounds and devices. And of course, right here, you'll see all your volume and everything, but you can see I was already selected onto this, the brightness of the DualShock controller. So you can go bright, medium, and dim. I would suggest you want the most amount of, uh, you know, life out of your controller, hit that dim button. And that way, of course, it will dim down significantly. As you guys can see, it's not nearly as bright as it was beforehand. And that's going to get me a lot more battery life out of my controller. This next one here is actually going to work really, really well. For those of you guys that don't have a gaming setup, let's say you're just playing on your TV or something in the living room, that's going to work super well for you. So when you turn on your PlayStation 4, the chances are you have to turn on your TV as well and vice versa. So if you want to just have both of them turn on the exact same time, I'm going to show you guys really how to do that. And it's really simple as ticking a box. So all you have to do is go over to here to your settings, go all the way down to system and go right down here to where is this enable HDMI device link. So as soon as you actually tick this box, when you turn on your PlayStation 4 or your TV, just because they're connected via HDMI cable, they will both turn on at the exact same time. It'll just save you from having to push a few extra buttons or sometimes switching different inputs. So I think this is pretty useful and I actually may just go turn this on myself here. For this next part of the video, we didn't actually stray away too far away from my gaming setup as you guys can probably see there in the background. But the whole point of it is, is I'm showing you guys that you can actually be able to play your PlayStation 4 on your computer. So what I have is actually I went to this website which I will leave the link to it in the description below. What it allows you to do is either go down onto your Windows computer or your Mac. In this case I have a 2013 MacBook Pro and you can actually be able to download the ability to actually, you know, screen cap your sort of PlayStation 4, or just, you know, screen share, whatever you guys prefer to call it, but you can actually play your PlayStation 4 from your computer as long as you do have your controller and a USB cable. So I have just loaded this on up here and it's currently just checking my connection over my Wi-Fi network to my PlayStation 4. This is what it does right before you actually are able to use it. And it just takes a minute or two because I did try this out myself here just briefly, but I wanted to you guys exactly how this works so after that all you have to do is just of course plug in your playstation controller as you guys can be able to see right here i do have my playstation there replicated right on up it's actually currently up on my tv right there or my monitor but it's also right over here on my laptop so if i press something down it actually comes out of my computer as well which is pretty freaking sick so i can actually use my PlayStation 4, then let's say I can launch up some Black Ops 3 if I so choose. So I can click on that, and bam, what do you know, I'm launching up some Call of Duty. Isn't that pretty freaking sick? You can actually take this anywhere in your house, as long as you got some Wi-Fi connection, you can play your PlayStation 4 virtually anywhere, as long as you got your controller and that USB cable. This is actually one of the coolest things I managed to find while making this video, and I've actually never been able to do this before, and the fact that I can actually do this on my MacBook, which is something that doesn't normally happen I feel like Macs are sometimes left out of certain things but the fact that I can play a Call of Duty or something else or any other game of my choice on my computer from my console that's just some crazy ass technology right there and so those of you guys that have a computer or something definitely go ahead and check this out like I said I'll leave a link to the download for your computer here in the description below all right so last but definitely not least is how to be able to get your guys some free PSN plus so PlayStation plus is definitely something that is always needed to be able to play online games or anything else like that so I managed to find a way for you guys to be able to do this to the utmost efficiency and to be able to get yourself some free PSN plus you know entirely 100% legit this is not doing some 
some sort of, you know, site or some weird generator or anything else like that, because guys, those sites just frankly don't really work, and you can take survey upon survey upon survey, and trust me, I've tried them at some point in time, but they just never really happen to give you any sort of codes or anything else like that. So right down as the top link in the description below, there's going to be the link to this app called Free My Apps, which essentially allows you to be able to download some other free applications and be able to get gift cards really freaking fast. I'm going to go over here with you guys here very briefly, but essentially what this is, is all you do is you go right here, you see point values to different things, you can hit download on them or not, it just depends on what you would like to see, because the apps do reset the values to themselves at the end of every hour, so they become a lot higher, so right now, I'm closing in on the end of the hour, nothing is really super high in point value, but you can just download whatever app you choose to be able to get yourself some points, and you go right over here to the offers is another thing you can possibly do, you can actually use your share code to share it around in the comment section below if you want to, and that does get you 200 points towards gift cards every single time somebody does use your share code apart from that there's also this survey right here that you can fill out from peanut labs and can get you up to 500 credits which 500 credits is a pretty decent amount considering if you filled out maybe two or three of those you can actually be able to get yourself like a five or ten dollar gift card so actually you know pretty much what everybody wants to see right over here is what type of gift cards can you possibly get you can get amazon you can get itunes google play steam you know playstation network Domino's. for any of you guys that want some pizza target anything else like that xbox live it really does not matter gamestop there's a bunch of different things on there that you guys can be able to do to get yourself some free playstation plus because guys free playstation plus is where it's at we don't want to have to pay for any of that stuff just like you don't have to pay for stuff in game so regardless if you guys want to be able to use this or not this is just the most legitimate method that i've actually come across because you know like i said i've tried this stuff before going to sites trying to see if they work i haven't managed to find anything that actually works and to be able to steer you guys in the wrong direction for something that's never ever going to get you guys a code or anything else like that so hopefully you guys all did enjoy today's video if you happen to have enjoyed it be sure to drop a fat like on it make sure you subscribe let me know down in the comment section below if you have subscribed and what type of gift card you would happen to want. But I do thank you all so much for stopping by. Until next time, my dudes, take it easy. Just run triple cap. Don't be Randy. And I'm out. Peace. Team with a rock with a do it. Go, wait. Swag out on the flow, name, name, real quick. Hit that elbow and hit that Super Mario. Lean with a rock with a do it. Go, wait. Swag out on the flow, name, name, real quick. Hit that elbow and. Lean with a rock with a. Lean with a, lean with a.